Hello everyone, I want to share some exciting news with you. The video you're about to watch was shot a few months ago, and during preparation and production for its release, I was lucky enough to join the Evans Them Heads family. I was preparing these videos before I got the news and confirmation, but as the subject was really about tuning my drums, I wanted to take this opportunity to announce this partnership. A future video will be released with details of the heads I chose to use on my set, including some nice surprises. I hope the content of this video series will be relevant for you all. Now, let's get on with the video. Enjoy! Hi there! Last chapter of my YouTube videos about tuning shells. The subject is tuning snare, so let's begin. By the way, I released two videos on kick and tom tuning, in which I showed you all the steps in detail about how to clean, to install a new head, and how to prepare the shell for its tuning. So I advise you to watch these and come back here to learn all the specific things to do for snare tunings. But first of all, I'm just going to put out all the heads and clean the shell. One specific thing I didn't show you in the kick and toms video, it's about the snare here, the wires, because only the snare has it. You just have to put it out and we will talk about it later. Everything is cleaned, the bearing edge too, and I'm going to take my new better head. I chose to use the Evans Hybrid again because I love its durability and its tight sound. As explained on my last videos, I start by figure tightening all the logs and then crackle the glue out of the head. Now, just as all new heads, you have to crackle the glue around the bearing edge, just by pressing the center of the head. What I love about this head is that it can be extremely tight without turning too thin. So I'm going to continue to tighten it until I have this smack sound I love and this ultra tight tension which gives me a lot of rebound. That's a really good start because I love the notes of the snare and also I love how short the sustain is. So I'm going to add the rezo side. That's a first because I never had the chance to use the event hybrid on the snare side. So let's try it out. On this hoop, you will have to check that the wires are really aligned and will be able to pass through. As always, always push the center of a new head for it to be really seated on the bearing edge. You could definitely hear from the start that this real side is really muffled. I choose to use the Heavens Hybrid in the top and the bottom because I love a deep and a very short sustained snare. Mm. 
let's try to hit the better side. Really high pitch snare, so now let's install the wires beneath. To install a new snare wires, you will have to align it on the center of the head. And then you will have to put the tapes under the hoop. For the snare wires trainer, you will have to deactivate it and set it to the central position. Before blocking the strips on both sides, I advise you to use a drumstick to put between the wires and the bottom head so that you will have more flexibility to fine tune the razor head and the wires just after. And now you may block the strips. Now that it's done, you can try the snare and activate the strainer. Let's hear the snare without the wires. And now you can activate the strainer to have the snare wire sound. And because the strainer is at its central position, you could choose to tighten it up to have a tighter sound of wires or loosen it up to have a fatter sound, like this. So this is completely loose. And extremely tight. I like this central position and a little bit looser. Last thing to add is my snare dumper to kill the highest frequencies. So before, and after. So really dark and really short sustain, and I love it. I've just mixed the snare, and I will play it to hear how it sounds, grow and processed. I hope these videos were helpful for you, and if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask them in the comment section below. You can also share with us if you have some ideas about new content. Please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel, and have a good one. Bye.